Hey everyone, I am here today to do a review of Belle Trust Cafe Chic in the color Mocha with Cream. I love Belle Trust short straight bobs. I'm just going to say it. I love them. I have Lady Latte, Bellissima, which is my favorite, and now Cafe Chic. And I really, really, really want to talk a little bit about these heat-friendly fibers in the short straight bobs because I know a lot of us are afraid of the heat-friendly fibers. I was in that camp for a long time. But before I talk about that, let me show you Cafe Chic from all sides. She's really cute. I say that a lot. I love hair. I love all hair. And even when I love it, I do share with you my challenges with certain hair. So I try to give you all the information even though I love hair. So Cafe Chic is a straight bob in the Bell Trust line. All of the Bell Trust wigs are heat friendly or heat defiant, HD, there's lots of names for it. But basically these fibers are different from regular synthetic. You can take heat to them, so you can curl them, you can straighten them, although <laughs> Cafe Chic needs no more straightening. Um, and they do require a little bit of special care. So if you're new to wigs or if you're not familiar familiar with heat friendly wigs. Please keep in mind that HD wigs don't last as long as regular synthetic in general. And they do tend to get um, clumpy faster. They will get frizzy faster depending on how you care for them and their length. There's lots of factors, but they also feel super amazing. I mean, the, the fibers feel so much like healthy human hair it's ridiculous. And I love the feel of Bell Trust fibers. Um, Bell Trust fibers feel different than Raquel Welch fibers. So if you're familiar with Raquel Welch HD wigs, these fibers feel much different to me. I prefer the feel of the Bell Trust fibers. I think the uh, Raquel Welch fibers feel a little dirty. They feel a little like they have a coating on them. Um, they just feel a little different. These don't have that feeling at all. Uh, so uh, if you don't like Raquel Welch HD, I wouldn't say that you won't like Beltress because I think they're better. But if you love Raquel Welch HD, note that Beltress does feel different. All right, so Cafe Chic. If you are looking for a chin length, flat, a uh, flat as a pancake bob that doesn't have any permatees and you like kind of a little bit of a trendy razored end, it's it's definitely got these sort of uneven razored ends going on, take a look at Cafe Chic. Oh my gosh, you guys, she is so cute. Let me show you the back again. She is just so sleek and so um, just easy to wear. I would say, though, that because she's so flat, she does want to hang in your face quite a bit. <coughs> and therefore, she is going to take some training. I have had to work with her a lot to get this to not hang in my face. I've used the heat of my hands a lot to press her to the side. I use some water. This is out of the box, completely out of the box, except for those few things. Finger combing, going like this with the heat of my hands only, and putting a little water to try to help redirect those fibers and just kind of tame some flyaways. That is all I've done to her. I have not put any product in her. I have not taken any heat to her. I've done nothing else. So she does come out of the box looking really great. And my experience with um, wigs that are straight, that have no permatees, they do tend to come out of the box looking better than others because they don't have as much, like the permatees get sort of compacted down in wigs with it. And so you do need to do a lot of waking up of the fibers. So not a factor with this one. You're also not going to get volume in this one um, without taking heat to her or something like that. She is very flat. There is no permatease to get volume. So you can play with her and try to do some stuff and make her messy, but she's probably not going to hold any volume you're able to get out 
out of her for long. Now, you can remedy that. You can take heat to these fibers and you can get lift, a little bit of lift with that. Um, you can take steam to her. I have done that. I had a, and, and you can, steam works with regular synthetic as well, but I have a lady latte and I had to take a little bit of steam to the front because she hung in my face so much I couldn't get her trained out of the face and that really took care of it. So you could take some steam underneath this part of the wig if you wanted to, put some steam in here, lift it up, and then you might get just a little bit of volume on the top. Um, I'm really not thinking even with steam you're going to get a ton of volume. So if you like a lot of volume, keep that in mind. She is very, very sleek. But I just love her. I think she's so cute. I will say, though, that Bellissima of the two is my favorite and does lay differently. And so I am going to do a comparison video. I think I'll compare Bellissima, Cafe Chic, and Lady Latte. So those are the three straight bobs that I have. So stay tuned for that comparison video. I'm not going to compare them in this video. This is all about Cafe Chic. So this color, uh, caramel um, mocha with cream. I'm sorry, mocha with cream. I love mocha with cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's such a good color, but it is very much a rooted, dark rooted color. This root is very dark. This root, it's probably a four because when you pair a four with light fibers like this, it tends to look very dark, but it almost looks black. So I got to just put that out there for you guys. If you like rooting, but you don't like black rooting or super, super dark rooting, Mocha with Cream has a very dark root. And this, the rest of this is so beautiful. It's a like a caramely, medium, I don't know, how can I describe it? It's like a light, light caramel brown, dark caramel blonde. It definitely is a very light color, and it's got a, bu a bunch of dynamic color running through it. And it does seem like it could have a little bit of auburn in it. So it doesn't pull heavy red at all. But it does seem to pull a little bit of auburn. And so for you guys, for my wig sisters who hate reds or don't like warm colors at all or you, you don't think you look good in warm colors, you look for cool colors, I think this one is warm. I do. I think it, it leans pretty warm. It has some cool tones, but it's not a cool color. And if you are a brunette who just likes dark browns, this isn't probably one to jump to because it's quite light here. But I'll tell you guys, I got Lady Latte a year and a half ago. It was, you know, within, I'm trying to recall, I think it was um, about a, maybe February when I first wore her and I started wearing wigs in September. So, you know, I wasn't that far into my wig journey and light colors really, I was scared of them. I had tried a few and they were too light for me. I actually really loved this one even then and found I could wear it. And I think it's because of this dark root. I really do. And so if you're a brunette and you've tried some highlighted colors and you can go there and you really want to go lighter, you might want to try mocha with cream if you can do a dark root because it's really beautiful. You've got to see it in person. I will show it to you outside. Um, so let's take a look at the cap. Bell Tress is big head friendly. I do want to say that. They do run just a little bit big. Um, I do uh, cinch them in just a little bit. And they come with the bra strap adjusters, which aren't my favorite. But I do end up um, cinching them in a little bit. So you got a lace front, a mono part, velvet ear tabs that adjust, not an extended nape, bra strap adjusters, not... I mean, if there's a little bit of permatease in her, and I'm saying that's a big if... It's only pillowy, it's only um, crimpy fibers. I really can't see any permatees, so I don't know. I would say no permatees on this one at all. Something else that I think you should know about Belle Tress is the, um, the, the um, knotting is sort of hit or miss. So on the lace front, see how easy she just pops back on, finger style her a little bit. She does have quite a few flyaways right now, which I think will be tamed over time, and you can manage those with water. Uh, John Moreau Peace Out Cream is awesome. I highly recommend everybody have a tub. It comes in a little tub of John Moreau Peace Out Cream. I usually have a link in the description with a bunch of my favorite products that I link. I love it. I'm not a huge fan of most of the John Renault products. I love Peace Out Cream and it lasts forever. I'm still working on my first tub of it and I got it early in my wig journey and I've been wearing wigs now. It was two years this past September. It's November 
so it's lasted me over two years. It, it, so it's a little spendy, but it lasts forever. You don't use a lot of it, and I love it. And that can tame flyaways. Um, but the knotting, that's where I was going with this. So the knotting on this one is actually not bad at all. Um, but you can see it because it's dark, but I love how they didn't go heavy. Can you see there's like little indents there? They really try to give it more of a realistic hairline, which I love. Um, and actually is really good for bell tress. So keep in mind though that bell tress knotting in the darker colors can be a little dark. This to me is one of their better <laughs> lace fronts that I've seen. And so if you are someone who loves to pull your hair off your face like in styles like you know all the way off and you're super sensitive to knotting and you wear dark colors just keep that in mind. I've seen good ones and I've seen ones that I wouldn't pull off my face. So that is something to keep in mind. There's their lace or their uh, mono part, and I would actually probably put a little foundation or um, translucent powder on there just to bring it out a little bit more. The hair is a little bit not densely knotted there, although you can see it. I really like it when you can see it a little bit more. I really like it when there's a contrast with dark rooting, so I might call that out a little bit more. The cap is, like I said, it's big head friendly. It fits me a little big. The ear tabs actually touch my ears right here. Um, the coverage is awesome. You can see hardly any of my bio hair here. Which if you could, with the dark rooting, it would really hide it. But this is some of the better coverage I ever get on a wig. Um, really, really good coverage. If you've got a much smaller head than me, though, over the top, and I already have a pretty small head, you run the risk of these ear tabs resting on your ears. So look at your measurements and know that it literally touches my ear tabs, uh, my ear tabs, my ears. Um, it's a little forward of my ears, so it's actually a little bit in front of my ear. Yeah, my ear and the ear tab. So I'm trying my best to describe it to you guys. I know how important that stuff is, and that's something that's hard to fix. Now, you can sew wefting together. I plan to do a video showing that. I've never done it, but I've seen people do it, so I think it's pretty easy. But you can sew wefting together in the back and cinch the cap up a little bit, and that might help that. Um, there's good, decent stretch, so I would say, you know, just keep in mind that your head size really matters. It's not just your circumference. It's the over-the-top measurements on your head. What I mean by sewing the wefting together is depending on how big it is on you, you can take a few wefts and you can sew them together like this way. Or you could even, I think you could pull two of the strips and sew those together the long way. It's really hard to show with the dark cap. And then you can really cinch that cap in a little bit. And since it's Inside, it doesn't matter how beautiful your sew job is, it, it just, and, and then if you mess up, you just cut the thread. And so I've known people who've cut wefts out. I'm a little, <laughs> that's a little above my pay grade, I gotta tell you guys. I can sew buttons on, that's about all I can do with any type of sewing or any of that. But I just wanna give you guys some encouragement that if you wanna try this and you're afraid it's gonna be too big, I think, you, I mean, too big's better than too small. And so I think there's some things you can do. All right, everybody. Wow, I just chatted your ear off for 13 minutes. I'm going to get outside so you can see this color, and I love it. I definitely um, think that if you need lift or poof, you're not going to get that here, and you might be disappointed. Um, let's get rid of this flyaway. And I will tell you, again, I, I if I had to choose between this and Bellissima, Bellissima all the way. She just gives me a little bit more volume. It's kind of weird, but I think she gives me just a little bit more volume, even though she is a little shorter. But I'll give you that comparison video, and you can see for yourself. All right, stick around for the outside look, and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, everyone. Here we go with uh, Mocha with Cream outside. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. I really, really love this color. You can see they wove that some of that dark rooting into it so that it isn't just a root right here, but it's in how the fibers are sewn in. Which is why I think this color works for a lot of brunettes. Even though it's fairly light, it's definitely got multiple different tones throughout.
get into the sunlight. It's so pretty, it's really beautiful. All right. So if you've been on the fence and not sure if this is the color for you, I hope this gave you a good look. Thanks for watching.